down to the northeastern. Today I'm going to show you how to fit an LED to these triangle buffer stops. The LED will sit on the top of this sleeper. The resistor will be housed just inside there. The good thing about these buffer stops is they clip straight to the track with ease. Um, and what you're going to need, you're going to need one of these, which is your lamp, and a resistor. So, let's get started. Okay, what I've done is, I've glued it here and here to the underside of the track, and then the next thing is to mark out two holes and drill it to take the LED to come through the top sleeper. Just using an ordinary hand drill, I just think it's quite it's easy to use. There's the two holes. Now the lamp should just fall straight through there, like so. Okay, and we do then. Now you've drilled it, take the top half and the buffer stub off. Then you can push that all the way down. And there you go. The next thing to do is to shape it to suit where it goes inside the buffer frame. Now you must remember that the long leg here is the positive, short leg is the negative. So this is the one we need to put the resistor on, the long leg. So let's have a look at it. So what you would do, you bend them both apart. One going that way. And the other one going that way. like so. And just by looking at it, you can roughly see where it's going to go. So then you bend it, you hold it there, you can actually see where it's going to go because you can see here and here two hollowed out sections which takes these two stubs. So what you do then, you hold that there and then bend it in there and then do the same to this side. And then you end it up like that. You can still see at the moment that this is the long leg. So what you do then is you put it back temporarily just to have a look see. There you go. So the next thing to do is bend it. Again, ninety degrees both sides, bend them both the same, ninety degrees out over. Put back on. You 
you can see now where the resistor is going to go. The resistor will sit just inside the framework there. Okay. So now, take that off. Trim that. Trim the legs off the resistor. Dip it in some paste. Salt and iron. This is a tricky bit. Just needs the faintest of touch. And it's on. There you go. It's on. Try that back on there. There you go. That's going to fit in there. Out of the way nicely. Just bend the last bit so you can solder it to the track here, right at the end. Okay. It's that leg. Now the other leg, you've got to bend it out over. Because the reason being is you haven't got enough length to get onto this rail. So Put it through there. So that goes under there, no problem. That one then, you've got a shape down there onto that rail. Like so. Okay, the last bit to do is to solder that leg onto there. And there we have it. Just trim off that little bit. There we go. All we do now is just take off any access. Solder, okay. just about a little thing. My sister, there, just push that back up. That's it. That's it. Now, don't forget, we were going to paint this in a minute, so just make sure that. Uh, I think it's going to be in the way. Right, we'll give that a little test, see if it works. And I'll be straight back. Right, I've got this old Hornby transformer, and we'll just check to see if the LED works. There you go. Spot on. Right, next thing to do. Just to paint it up, weather it up, which will uh, instantly when you paint it, all these be isolated with the paint. So that's it. Come back in a minute.
when it's all painted. Right, here we are with the buffer completely finished. Paint's a little bit damp, but there you go. It's been weathered, as you can see. It's been weathered, and I've painted the buffer beam a really dull red. And it's a big difference from that to that. Right, we'll just give it a final test. There you go. Now it is really tricky to just have a little tiny red dot of light in there. It takes two or three attempts with the old paint. But I find if you just dab it with a cotton bud just on the top face, and I'll just take it off nice and neatly. Right, let's put it on the layout. Okay, and here it is on the layout. Now it finishes off the siding nicely. one here. So the triangle buff buffer stops do look good when they've been updated. Anyway, thanks for watching. Catch you next time. Bye.